What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about the mystery behind the five monitors found throughout the raid that when activated deactivate lasers guarding a chest found after killing the final raid boss Axis Arkham Prime allowing us to get what's believed to be that fifth chest in this Wrath of the Machine raid all five monitors have been found and in this video I will show you the location of them all but there's a twist on one of them. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, hit that like button. Let's try and reach 5,000 likes. That would be absolutely epic. Okay, so there is a giant mystery about the fifth chest. We know its contents must be something great, well they better fucking be. It's found after you kill Axis, a kind of vent or wall panel blows off towards the back of the centre platform. If you jump down, you can see a chest at the end of the pathway, protected by lasers. In all, there are five lasers guarding this chest. Now each monitor throughout the raid deactivates a laser. Finding all five will result in you being able to collect whatever contents this chest contains. You can see on screen now that when we got to this actual room when killing Axis, that there is one laser left active. Now judging by the floor panels beneath the lasers and seeing when you first jump down to this chest room, there is a fifth monitor which when you activate, deactivates the laser beyond the one remaining active laser, suggesting that the fourth monitor is the one everyone's searching for. A monitor I actually know the location of, but like I said, there's a twist. But we will get to that in a second. Okay, so first off I will show you the first three monitors which is believed to deactivate the first three lasers. Obviously these monitors corresponding in order of the lasers we see guarding at that end chest. Okay, so the first laser is located in the room where you fight Vorzik the Archpriest and this can be activated before or after the fight. It's in the second room on your left. Simply look up, jump up into the ceiling vent and follow the path. It's as simple as that. The second monitor is located in the room which leads off to the first chest just after you defeat Volsic. Simply jump up, head into the dark corner and you'll find the waypoint. Simply follow the route I take. Now the third chest is located just after you defeat the Siege Machine aka the Death Zamboni. Instead of jumping down to collect your loot, head backwards up the slope, peek over what would be the left edge when you are heading back up the slope and you will see a wall panel sticking out, shoot it off and jump in and you will find that monitor. Okay, so it's the fourth monitor which is missing and the one everyone is searching for, but we will get into that in a second. The fifth monitor is located just after killing the final boss in the room where the final chest is located. Activating it deactivates the far laser, which does indicate, judging by the order these monitors were found and activated, that the fourth monitor is somewhere located in between the Death Zamboni and the final encounter. Okay, so the fourth monitor is located, I believe, inside of this giant black Siva manipulated diamond, whatever the hell this is, in the center of this room, which is basically surrounded by all these canisters, just after you head out of that server room. Now it was pointed out by a pal of mine yesterday that if you stand at a certain point next to this diamond you can hear the sound of one of these monitors and you can, it's kind of like a static sound but that don't confirm it as I know you may be thinking but take a look at this clip sent to me by a friend if you use a high zoom scope and scope in and peek into the opening of this diamond you can actually see the static on the monitor so not only can you hear it if you get close, you can actually see it 
Also looking at the diamond, from a certain angle, it does indeed look like it can open up. But how do we do this? How do we open this thing up to activate this monitor is another mystery. Now there have been many theories which me and my team tried to do, but with no avail. The room which I call the disco room with the eight lights, we tried all sorts of combinations, including the combination seen on the floor when you scope down in the center of this disco room. Also, I may add, somehow or some way you can spawn in Randall the Perfected aka Randall the Vandal. This has been done only a few times though and how he spawns in is another mystery. He spawns in the server room and it is said that he might be protecting something. What that is again is another mystery. The team who originally got him to spawn have no idea how they actually did it and they killed him straight away. Another thing to add which will be credited is the work the guys over at Raid Secret, the subreddit page, which you will find linked in that video description, are doing. Those guys over there are calculating all kinds of things to try and crack this mystery. They've figured out that there are many broken servers in the server room. They've also figured out that there are 11 canisters missing from the Black Diamond room. Whether this has anything to do with it, we have no idea. The disco room to me though seems the most interesting. What is its purpose? Why is it there? But be warned though, Bungie have told us before, let's not forget the basketball ord room located in the King's Fall raid. Bungie allowed people to go on for days constantly trying to figure out that secret and it ended up being a troll. But who knows? Maybe the way to activate this monitor is so simple everyone's missing the point due to thinking too hard. At the moment it's all a giant mystery, one I can't wait to discover. Now there have been many theories thrown at me, some with great logical points. If you have one, let me know it down below in that comments section. Now the mystery of this chest content still remain. I believe it could trigger an exotic quest for the Seaver exotic pulse rifle, as we know this weapon does indeed come from a quest, unless Bungie are hiding another exotic. As we see in our year 3 Rise of Iron record book, we see a life exotic milestone, where we have to basically discover and complete four exotic Rise of Iron quests, that being the Kvostov, the Galahorn, the Fawn and a mystery one, that I believe being the Siva exotic pulse rifle, coming from the raid somehow. I would also say as well, collecting Siva clusters has something to do with the quest connecting to the Siva exotic pulse rifle. But yes, whatever this chest does contain, it sure as hell better be worth all the hype. Knowing Bungie though, our asses will be rewarded a sparrow horn or some shit. But guys, if you have any theories, please throw them my way and I'll be sure to take them into account when I raid later. If you guys enjoyed the video, do hit that like button, thanks for stopping by as always, subscribe for Daily Destiny, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right